DIYers, what's going on? Mike Borders with the Mike Borders channel. Thank you for watching. Hey, in the event that you have an offset or crooked steering wheel, however, your front wheels are straight, we're going to talk about what causes that and how you can actually get that fixed. Let's take a look. All right, DIYers outside of the truck, and this is our 2008 Chevy Colorado. And again, in the event that you have a crooked steering wheel, however, your front tires are straight, we're going to talk about the common causes. Coming to the front of the vehicle, as you can see, our front tires are straight or to our driver's side. However, again, our steering wheel is crooked. Let's go inside and take a look. Coming inside the vehicle and check that out, DIYers. That is definitely crooked, right? As you can see, sitting in the seat, looking directly at the steering wheel and instrument cluster and out of the truck window, it is crooked. And in the event that it's just slightly a hair off, that's normal because the steering wheel itself does have a little bit of play in the park position. Here it is looking from the passenger side. As you can see, again, that is offset to the right. However, our front tires are straight. All right, DORs, taking a step back, and in the event that we got in the truck and started the engine, went for a test cruise, and got the vehicle up to speed, again, as you can see, our front tires are straight. However, our steering wheel is offset to the right. So again, once we get the vehicle up to speed, in the event that we tried to center that steering wheel, guess what would happen? Yes, you're correct. It would aggressively veer to the left, and that is not normal. That's not what we want. We need to get that fixed. So with that said, again, let's talk about some common causes. We're not gonna go in order. And the first common cause you can run into is your front end suspension is out of alignment. And for most car owners and drivers, by now, chances are you have heard about a vehicle alignment. And as you have learned, it is extremely important to the safety of the vehicle, as well as the suspension, both forward of the vehicle, as well as rear. In addition, the wear and tear on your tires and several additional parts that make up your suspension, like struts, shocks, sway bar links, inner tie rods, outer tie rods, axle. In addition, your brake components, such as your brake rotor, your brake caliper, and your pads. All of those parts will be affected and harmed, or in other words, wear out at a much faster rate in the event that your vehicle is out of alignment and with that said whether you just bought the vehicle and the vehicle came with a crooked steering wheel with straight tires or you've had the vehicle for a long time and you just started noticing an offset steering wheel with straight tires and you have not performed any maintenance to the vehicle itself chances are you are out of alignment however first DIYers, I highly recommend going around all four of your tires and checking the PSI to ensure that the pressure inside all of your tires are the exact same and all the way up to the manufacturer's recommended PSI. Because think about it, in the event that your driver's side tire is properly inflated to the proper PSI, say for example, 35 PSI, however, come to the passenger front tire. If you hook a gauge up to it and notice that it's down to 15 PSI or maybe 20, that's a significant difference from right to left or driver's side to passenger side. And that could be causing the pull left or right and leading to the vehicle becoming more and more unaligned. So that's a good place to start. Again, ensure all of your tires are properly inflated to the manufacturer's recommended PSI. However, if all looks good, what I would do next is recommend you drive the vehicle to a shop that has professional and licensed technicians and have them perform an alignment on your vehicle because by doing that, again, you're going to save a lot of wear and tear on your front suspension and or rear suspension. And they're going to straighten your steering wheel and keep your front tires straight, which is good. So again, that's one common cause. Now let's talk about the next one. Depending on the time of year, let's say for example, it's winter time. In the event that you have an aggressive buildup of snow and ice inside your wheel well or inside the rim of your wheel. As you can see with our rims, there's several gaps in between the outer rim and the center hub where the wheel itself is secured by the lug nuts. Any buildup of heavy snow and ice, that could be throwing off your alignment, which in return is offsetting your steering wheel. Not good, obviously, right? However, let's take it to a different season. Let's say it's summertime and there's no snow, there's no cold weather, there's no ice, nothing. Well, it's possible if you live on dirt roads, you may have a buildup of dirt, gravel, maybe miscellaneous rocks, or if you're into off-roading, you might have an aggressive buildup of mud, thus causing your vehicle to come unaligned and the offset steering wheel. So again, a couple additional common causes. Now on to the third one. In the event that you have previously performed any type of maintenance to your front suspension, whether again it is tie rods, maybe inner, outer, your upper ball joint, your lower ball joint, your sway bar, your inner hub, or feeding outward to your brakes, your caliper, your rotor, or your pads, you would have had to lift the vehicle off the ground with a jack and remove the tire to perform all of that maintenance or whichever maintenance or project you're specifically working on. And by doing that, during that project, it's very possible that you shifted the vehicle hub slightly 
slightly out of alignment. And a couple parts that would cause that or lead you to do that are again, replacing your upper or lower ball joint, your sway bar, your inner or outer tie rod or hub, because those projects again, require basically the entire aligned portion of the hub to be loosened up, disconnected and shifted. So with that said, in the event that you just completed any type of maintenance to the front suspension and you've got straight tires, however, an offset steering wheel, we recommend driving it to the shop and having it properly and professionally aligned. Next, an additional common cause that can lead to an offset steering wheel with straight tires is, believe it or not, an imbalanced tire. And it may just only be one tire out of the four. And if you've been driving a vehicle for many years and you have not heard about a tire imbalance or tire balancing, it is extremely important to, again, the vehicle and all the parts within close proximity of the wheel and wheel well, as well as hub. And with that said, in the event that you have ever had a tire off the vehicle, if you turn it to the back side and look at the opposite side of the rim, you will notice several little weights that are glued to the inner wall of the rim and in most cases they're very small they're either a half ounce or one ounce and those are used for proper balancing of your tire and the question is how are tires balanced or how do tires become imbalanced well let's start with how they're balanced basically you take them to a shop the technician will take the tire off hook it up to a machine that spins the tire and they use a special computer to read the revolution and rotation and to determine how much additional weight needs to be added to the inner rim and then they use some adhesive and glue on those little one ounce weights to again properly balance your tire after that you pick up the truck from the shop and then you go driving and just like everyday driving wear and tear can take its toll on a balanced tire it could be three months it could be six months unlikely within six months but anytime over a year maybe three years maybe five years believe it or not those little teeny weights can fall off and be stranded wherever they fall off whether it's the highway your friend's driveway or a random dirt road who knows but that is how a balanced tire becomes imbalanced. Those weights fall off and even one ounce or two ounces breaking away from the inner rim, that's a lot. Again, it will imbalance your tire and that's where you will get wobbling of your tire and in most cases with an unbalanced wobble tire, your steering wheel itself may not rattle or vibrate. So again, another common cause. And DIYers, really, those are the common causes. And for us, we will share with you what we did. We just recently came off a significant front end suspension project, which included lifting the front end up, removing the tire, and replacing the outer tie rod, the inner tie rod, and sway bar. And again, replacing those parts can very easily throw off the alignment of your vehicle. And for us personally, we do about everything when it comes to maintenance to our vehicles. However, when it comes to an alignment DIYers, I'll be honest, that's where I draw the line. That is when I take the vehicle to a professional so they can bring the vehicle suspension and alignment back to factory specs. And again, we highly recommend you to do that as well. So with that said, DIYers, down below in the comments section, as well as the description section, we will post several video links, including additional common causes, how to inspect and determine whether or not you have a bad inner tie rod, a bad outer tie rod, a bad sway bar, and a couple other videos. So definitely check those out. You may find them helpful. From here, do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.